Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Atomic Pop featuring Fab and Get off my list, dude. I'm not, you fucking man. Another edition of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man, a little boy featuring. Uh, uh, I mean, you fucked me up, dude. My name is Stephen Corka. Mm, what happened to the little man, boy? Fat Man, a little boy. Uh, my name is Steven Corka. I'm Juan. Juan, we're here to do the year review, guys. 2018-2018 is at a close. It's been an amazing year. A lot of amazing things have happened. First of all, big thank you to all of our customers that come into all of our stores. Uh, we opened a third store at the Coral Gables location. Great things happened in there. Check us out there. Um, great movies have came out. Great music has came out. Great TV has came out. Um, great has come out. Great come out. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, lots of great comic series. Uh, just a, a lot of great things have happened. I, you know, I, I ran for political office. I lost, but still did that. That was badly. I did lose. I do the hey. Uh, you got beat by that Stallone guy. Will you be nice, dude? And by that woman with the weed. L listen, listen. Uh, first time. Every five seconds. We should legalize. First, what do you believe about beating on women? If dude, you legalize dude, weed, you don't beat women. Don't get beat. Suck up. mine hard, okay? Anyways, uh, but listen. Uh, what? What? Fuck off, dude! You're you're you're. Really, I'm not being negative. Whatever. Anyways, it was that Luke I, Bryan joke that sunk look, your campaign. Whatever, dude. dude uh, <laughs> listen, go suck a dick. There's Anyways. no one here. Everyone's at Luke Bryan's, like 80 year old constituents. All right, whatever. Anyways, so guys, uh, year review. Let's get right into it. It's been a crazy year. Let's start with the big thing: movies, guys. Lots of movies have came out this year. Come listen, out. Came out this year. They came out this year. Came. Lots of movie have come out. This Lots year. of movies came out this year. Have came out. Right. Have come out. The, have come out. Or came out, not half came out. Cream pie. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. So, listen, I, I got a list together of movies that have came out, as well as... Come out. Uh, c c dude, uh, fuck, suck a dick. Anyways, so of course Aquaman, Avengers Infinity War. It's, it's been, I went through this list, so I'm like, holy crap, I can't believe this was this year. Black Panther, Venom, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Bumblebee, Incredibles 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Creed 2, Mary Poppins Returns, Deadpool 2, Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald, Mission Impossible, Fallout, A Star is Born, Mortal Engines, Meg, remember that shit? Predator, or The Predator, should I say, Crazy Rich Asians, uh, Ant-Man Wasp, The Grinch, First Man, Bohemian Rhapsody, Solo, A Star Wars Story, Robin Hood, which was crap, The Nutcracker Movie, which was crap, Holmes and Watson, which I heard is crap, Halloween, None, Welcome to Marwin, Vice, which is great, I heard, uh, Bad Times at the El Royal, Christopher Robin, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, Pacific Rim, Uprising, Black Klansman, Wrinkle in Time, Ocean's 8, A Quiet Place, The Mule, and Ready Player One, just to name the majority of all the movies. Lots of lots of crazy movies came out, and just so you guys know, um, also good movies came out this year. The, lo lots of those movies were good movies. What did I what did I leave out? Uh, Hereditary. Was that like a horror movie? Yes. Okay, I missed that. Sorry. So, uh, guys, top three domestic box office takers in. Uh, c can you guess what number three is? Number three. Number three. Out of all of the list that I just did, what's the number three movie of uh, domestic U.S. Incredibles two. You looked at the list. No, you I did whore. not look at the list. I just see. Well, he, he is right. Incredibles two with six hundred and nine million box office domestic. What about number two? Black Panther. Eh. No, Infinity War was number one, right? What's number two domestic? It wasn't Black Panther. Nope. Are you? Sh I'm positive. This is this is from Box Office Mojo, guys. Oh. What was number two? Infinity War, six hundred and seventy-nine million. What's number one? Black Panther. Black Panther, seven hundred million. Beat Infinity War by twenty-one million. Not worldwide though. No, this is domestic. Oh, okay. Domestic. Okay, okay, worldwide. Number three. Out of the list. Jurassic Park. Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. You are correct with one point three billion. So we're gonna get another one of those kids because that Fallen Kingdom was such a gem, wasn't it? Well, there was a hit piece on Chris Pratt now on Vanity Fair. So why? Because he hunts. Yep. Yeah. Anyways, number two, worldwide. Black Panther. Black Panther with one point three billion. Also, it made about forty nine million more than Fallen Kingdom. And the number one. It's Avengers. Infinity War with over two billion guys, two billion dollars. That's speaking of billions. You know the guy that won the the billion the lottery hasn't claimed it yet. Uh, no, I missed that one. Yeah, the $1.5 billion. Okay. All right. So uh, what was the most... Unclaimed. Listen, what, what, what was the most anticipated movie for you that was just a big letdown at the end of the day of 2018? Uh, I'm going to go with The Mummy. The Mummy. Was yeah. that this year? That wasn't this year. Yeah. 
No, it wasn't. Tom, uh, Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise Mummy was not this year. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was early this year. It was not. You sure? Uh, no, it was not. It was not. Jurassic World. Jurassic World was fucking bad. No, 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 no. You know what? Bumblebee. I haven't agreed. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Bumblebee is my most anticipated film of 2018 that ended up being a huge fucking letdown. Listen, I said this, this I said this to people in the store today. If those 10 minutes in Cybertron was the whole movie, it would have been the best movie I've ever seen in my entire yep, life. I'll agree. Like, holy fucking shit, dude. It was but instead, great. And you described it best. It was a girl and her, and her dog. Yeah, it's about a girl and yeah. her dog and how she works through her daddy's death. Bumblebee, hot shit. What's your best movie of the year? Hmm? What's your best movie of the year, 2018? Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, fuck, man. And that, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of these movies. I haven't had time. To be fair, see. I haven't seen a lot of them either. Yeah. I heard A Quiet Place is really good. I saw A Quiet Place. It's not better than Hereditary, Spider-Man. Hereditary, I heard, is really good. Um, um, I heard Mary Poppins is magical. It's I'm great. not going to see Mary Poppins. I'm not going to either, but I heard, it, I heard it's amazing. Um, There's one about a guy on probation I want to see. Um, what's it called? Wand 2? Huh? No, nothing. Anyways, um, so you know what, Wonski? Uh, yeah, and the Spider Verse is the best movie I've seen this year. You know what? And this totally contradicts a prior. Someone re- told me that they cop- copyrighted the the style of animation that they used. It's possible. I don't know. You you, know. you know what, Wonski? I'm gonna tell you this. I I I uh, this contradicts a prior review that that I did. Uh, but I think I'm gonna agree with you. I I did have I did have Avengers: Infinity War up there, but sp- Into the Spider Verse is such an encompassing, complete story in itself. It's a standalone. You don't need the one. That's what I said. You don't need to know dick about. You yelled about at me. It. Yeah, because at the time, Avengers uh, isn't an actual movie. Yeah, uh, Avengers. It's a Thanos movie. No, no, it's not a movie. It's, it's not a, structured it's a th- like a it's movie. It's a Thanos movie. Anyways, go go suck a dick. Avengers is great, but it, but yeah, Into the Spider Verse is a better overall movie. But listen, I'm gonna tell you what, in- Incredibles two was fucking Boring. great. No, it was did, did you see it? Huh? It was great. Incredibles no, I saw was the first great, ten dude. minutes and then I walked listen, away to do and, better things. And I know you hated this movie, but I loved Ready Player One. Also I loved hated it. it. Yeah, that I was loved garbage. Ready Player One. I, I I thought it was I thought it was really good. Uh, and it was lo- a very long commercial. Whatever. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it thir- thoroughly. I hated Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. That was oh, that um, was that was up there for one of the worst for me. Like holy fuck, dude! Like God, what a piece of dog shit that cries. was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, that was bad. Listen, movies that Wonski and I didn't see. Aquaman. A customer today said the best thing I've ever heard about Aquaman. What's that? He went to go see Aquaman, and like 30 minutes into it, he's like, oh, wait, I got chores to do. And he got up and left to go do the chores. Oh. And I was like, yeah. Okay. That sounds like Aquaman. Yeah. I enjoyed Aquaman, so mm-hmm. I'm not going to talk shit about it. But listen, movies that neither of us saw that are supposed to be really good that we're going to both see, uh, probably individually, not together in this one, Black Klansman. Yeah, I'm gonna see Black. Clansman. I heard that's great. Yeah, I heard Vice is amazing. Uh, no, it's been getting actually bad reviews. Has it really? I heard it's really good. No, it's on like Rotten Tomatoes, like sixty-eight percent. I don't care about Rotten Tomatoes, dude. Like, it's, fuck it's that shit, dude. It's the aggregate score. Whatever. That's like that's like that's like, it's back like in the, the average. Score. That's like back in the days, like think, judging a movie based on what Siskel and Ebert says. I mean, that's what they do for a living. Whatever, dude. Fuck off. Um, so, so I heard crazy. I heard Crazy Rich Asians is great. I haven't seen it yet, but I heard it's great. I mean, I, I doubt that's my type yeah. of movie. Uh. Movies that were supposed to be good and make a lot of money that didn't do good. Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grinwald. No surprise there. That's a piece Isn't of Johnny shit. Isn't Johnny Depp getting dropped from everything right now? Uh, he got dropped from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Wrinkle, in, Wrinkle in Time came out this year. That was a big piece of dog shit. It's Oprah Winfrey Pacific, and Mia Keeling. Pacific Rim Uprising. That, that didn't do great. I'm sure that was underwhelming. It, but it didn't have what's-his-name wasn't directing it this time. I don't know. It wasn't Guillermo del Toro. Christopher Robin. That was a big fail too. Twenty the Pooh who cares? I'm sure they should. They, I'm sure they anticipated that would be great. First Man, that that Neil Armstrong movie. Well, they should have had the American flag on the moon like I'm, God intended. Listen, I'm just saying. Every everyone everyone's like, oh my God, this is gonna be like a huge award show contenders. It's not yeah. nominated for yeah, fucking shit. Yeah, and Ryan Gosling is like, no nah, man, Canada had a lot to do with the landing. This is um, a universal event. I'm like, well, n- I'm not gonna watch. Nutcracker it. and the Four Realms. I'm sure Disney thought that would make more money than no it did. No way, a Nutcracker movie. Listen, I know it's shit. You know it's shit. But I'm sure Disney was like, we're gonna make fucking Lion King. Mo- money on this jungle book money uh, another uh bohemian rhapsody underperformed as well um robin hood we all knew that was gonna suck i didn't even know dick. that came out i yeah i didn't know that came out betsy will love that movie he lo- he likes everything um yeah have you seen halloween i know you're in that horror shit i have not seen it but i've heard good things and halloween the original halloween is my favorite horror movie of all time yeah. Uh, so mortal engines was a big fail i mean Rob, what's his name rob zombie ruined yeah. halloween for um, me uh, but uh, Mission Mission Impossible Fallout uh, it was no- great. 
That did, was great, though. Did great, and it performed really well. We're going to see that more Mission Impossible. Yeah, Tom Cruise can still fucking hold it down. Anyways, that's movies, guys. Here's what's happened in 2019. Like, I don't think we realize what's happened. Star Wars Episode Nine, Avengers Endgame. Just right there, those two alone. The Pikachu movie. Like, holy fucking shit, dude. Um, I don't sh- care about Shazam. I care about Shazam. I think Shazam's going to be Shazam. terrible. Captain Marvel. Like, there are so, there, there, there's 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 so much it. shit happening this fucking year coming up. Us. What's that? It's the new uh, Key and Peele movie. Oh. Peele, honestly. But oh, okay. I, yeah, I didn't yeah, know it's that. a horror right. movie. So, uh, it involves black people. So what, what movie are you looking forward to the most so far in 2019? 100% King of Monsters. Really? Yeah. Holy shit, dude. I'm surprised that you even said that. I know I love Godzilla. I'm looking forward to episode nine. I'm not going to lie. Like, Just like, ignore what the fuck I say. I could have said any movie you would have ignored me. Can we talk about King of Monsters? Why I'm anticipating you just want to talk about your shit? No, I, I'm tr- I'm just trying to blow through it, you know, like like you know like like jerking off, you know, just hurry up, get get it over with. I take my time. Uh. I have a big dick. Okay, all right. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So, so uh, fine, fine. Go on your soapbox. Talk about King of Monsters. Well, it's one of the only previews we've seen. That detect- <laughs> so so look. That's my Godzilla impression. As of right now, you're more hyped for Detective Pikachu than you are for Avengers, right? Yes, I am. Right, because... The- no, I take that back, actually. No, for Avengers, no. Uh, but, but it's close. It's close enough. We have to think about it. No, the, for me, it's Star Wars, Avengers, Detective Pikachu. But, but we don't know anything about those other movies, and, and we haven't seen any trailers. I have seen trailers for K- Pikachu and King of Monsters, and King of Monsters just looks the best. Okay, that's cool. I mean, we'll go see them all and talk about them all. So, episode nine, you're a hot for that. I haven't seen anything about it. And I think episode eight was a little bit of a disappointment. And I think JJ Abrams here to clean house and make uh, things good. I heard he's bringing the night to Ren in. It's going to be fucking good. Kathleen dude. Kennedy is still doing. Is still in charge. Dude, I like Solo. I, I like, like Solo too. Yeah. So, anyways. Uh. So okay. So next thing. What's uh. What's on the uh. Your best TV show you've seen. It could be a new show. This it could year, be. It could be a new season. It was Gotham season four. Gotham season four. Really. Yeah. It got really cartoony. Okay. It got really like comic-y, right? Um, the best episode arc was when Jerome breaks out of uh, Arkham Asylum with all the inmates, and they have this crazy fucking plan where they're gonna f- they take over a blimp and they're gonna drop serum over the the middle where everyone is reunited because he has some people hostage. Okay. And they take this blimp and it's gonna drop this gas on the people and kill them. Okay. Only in a comic book does that work. Okay. And for them to have put it so perfectly on screen, it, it was everything I want Batman to be. All right. I think Gotham is the most underrated show on TV right now, and right. it's probably the best superhero show I've ever seen. Oof. Well, then you better recognize, because guess what? My best show of 2018 is Titans. Holy fucking shit, dude. Titans is hands down everything a superhero movie or show, whatever the fuck you want to call it, should be. It's it's rated R, and it does its rated R tastefully. All right. Whereas, whereas Deadpool overdoes it, Titans does it where it just it's it's natural, it's organic. When they say fuck, it's just common conversation. They don't do it for shock value. When there's blood, it's just there because that's what makes sense. In the I, moment. I think I think I think you need to watch Gotham. Gotham season four was pretty violent. All right, well listen, I'm just saying Titans Go- best show of my opinion. Guys, check it out from the DC app, or you can watch Gotham, stream it on its whatever it's being Why streamed on, so or watch it on Fox. Chill. Because I'm because we're going fast. Dude. No, let's chill. We don't have a lot of chill time, dude. You have 82 minutes. Well, I did. It's never what the battery really says. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, the battery's low, guys. It's my fault, and I forgot to charge it. It's not low. There's 82 minutes. Anyways, uh, so uh, what's what sucked? What 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 show did you watch, and you were just like, God, this fucking was a waste of my life. It's an old show. That's fine. I finally got around to seeing season two, which uh, Dirk's gently uh, holistic detective season one was probably one of the best TV shows I've ever seen, and season two was just completely different and a letdown. Hmm. So, there you go. Well, I, I didn't watch Iron Fist or Jessica Jones, but you told me everything I needed to know about it. I'm they're, they're, gl- they're really bad. And I'm glad I didn't waste my time on What them. did you see, though, that you wasted your time on? That I wasted my time on? I'm in the middle of Westworld Season 2 right now. Oh, I've heard that's really bad. It's it's watchable, but it's not the best. Not it's not as good as the first one, for sure. But I'll still watch the third season if it comes out. Uh, so, uh, what about what about music, man? What are you feeling for 2018 in music? Uh, you go. Ari- that, was, that wasn't on the list. I know it was on the list. That was a curveball right there. Ariana fucking Grande, man. Holy shit. That was great, yeah. That bitch, that bitch, but fuck, that album is Young great. Young lady. That, 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 th- those songs, like, holy shit, man. Can't save the rainforest like, without plastic bags, but be misogynistic. Like, l- listen, listen, listen. Dude, suck a dick, dude. You know what I mean, all right? It's God, I fucking hate you sometimes. All right. So, l- listen. Thank you. Next. 
amazing. Yeah. God is a woman, amazing. Uh, that other fucking songs on the radio right now, uh, breathing. Mm-hmm. Like the album is solid. Ariana, you are doing it right, and and you are doing pop music justice. That's my. Opinion. Um, yeah, man. I'm I'm drawing a blank. What? I'll I'll, I'll agree with you because I just I, there's no one else I've seen anything about. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't say some hip hop star or something. I know you're really big. Well, on there's shit. nothing really big that came out this year. I mean, I mean, Child just came. Right, you know what? I'll 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 give you this. Uh, the the Kanye West the the four the four CDs. I didn't, I didn't even follow that. Okay. Uh, Kanye West, um, he did um, an album with Nas. He did one with Pusha T. Uh, he did one with Kid Cudi, and he did a solo album, and they were all fantastic. So I'll say Kanye West, but only the four albums together. Okay. All right. And so uh, in in uh, in 2018, comic books. Since we are a comic book store, mainly let's let's cap it off with that. What have you been reading? It could be an ongoing series that has been happening, and it's on on a far off issue like 100, or it could be something brand new. What have you been reading that, in your opinion, has been the best in you know 2018? You know what's been really great. Are you really reading? No, that? fuck that. I'm lying. Are you, have, of course, have, that's have, bullshit. Have you, have you Oblivion that? song, dude. Have Oblivion you, song. No, I don't give a fuck about. At all? No. Why would I care? Oblivion song. Oblivion Way song. better. Okay. Um, well. <laughs> I got it. Can't curse her as a child here. White Knight. No. Um, White Knight was really good. Mr. Miracle was really good. When it, when it comes to like the main de- like titles, Venom was really good. Cosmic Ghost Rider was really good. Thanos this right, year but, was but, really but, good. But name name. But Oblivion song is my, my favorite series. Um, well, why? I mean, you've been you've been on Oblivion songs dig hard these past couple weeks. But go There's ahead and just, here. just tell people why. There's a kid here. Tell people why. Huh? Tell people why that you're on a Because song dick. it's awesome because you know we suck the dicks of it. No, no, seriously. Talk about why you like Oblivion Song. Why do I like Oblivion Song? Oblivion Song is just Wait, You're like don't rush and now you're like I'm done. It's a it's a I just I mean what am I gonna talk I don't wanna spoil it. This isn't like just talk about some generic characters doing generic things. Like Oblivion Song is a good story I don't wanna spoil. You haven't even read I I it, like, you just don't like hero books, period. Uh, Oblivion Song is good, man. It's Oblivion Song is about this guy who feels guilty um, because he had a part in basically the Philadelphia experiment. Half of the city disappears and is transported into a parallel universe. Like the movie, the, mo- the movie Philadelphia Experiment? No, like the Philadelphia Experiment. And... Uh, and this guy has to, he keeps, it happens 10 years after what's called the incident. He goes in to rescue people. What he's really doing is looking for his brother. But there's a lot more to it behind that, like why this occurred. Uh, the government's trying to weaponize what he used, uh, what they used to do it. And it's just, it's good. It's, it's from the writer of The Walking Dead. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, I don't like the show, but I, I give the guy props. He knows how to write a good story. I mean, Invincible went a million issues. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Walking Dead has been really good. And. He's also writing, um, what else is he writing now? Oh, he's writing out. Al- die, die, die. Outcast and die, die, die. Outcast yeah. uh, was not that good. Die, die, die was not that good. Yeah. Um, for me, it's going to be Old Man Hawkeye. Old Man Hawkeye was excellent. Old Man Hawkeye. And, and, and the surprising thing, listen, here's the difference, guys. We have a Doomsday Clock where Jeff Johns, who's an amazing writer, tried really hard to emulate the, the feel of of Watchmen and I think Alan Moore yeah he is, tried to I, copy him I, and that's, I, that was his failure that was his mistake but to be fair the writer of Old Man Hawkeye is trying to emulate the feel and the writing style right. of, of Old Man Logan and I think he nailed it hands down I think it's a it's a perfect continuation of Old Man Logan and you wouldn't you wouldn't even know it was written by two different people no and the art's the same the art the art's almost identical Old Man yeah. Hawkeye is great if you, if you have an honorable mention what would it be uh, an honorable mention? Yeah, if you just got to do one. Dude, I actually read one book that's brand new. And it's the first time in a long time that I've read a book and I wanted to continue and I couldn't, which was Die. Oh, okay. By uh, Gilly, that's Jill, like Jillian. Yeah. Jillian. Kerry and Jillian? Yeah, or, yeah. You, and, that, that's the filmmaker, right? Uh, no, no. He used to do Young Justice. Uh, Who's that? One? I'm confusing. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah, he did Young yep. Ju- He Young Justice. He's on a bunch of shit, but um, but yeah, Die was really, really good. Good concept. It's about a kid invents a D and D game for his friend's seventeenth birthday. They all disappear. Five out of the six reappear five years later, and then twenty years they get warped. They get basically transported back to this game, and they have to finish it. Okay. Yeah. So it's like Jumanji. It's Jumanji. Yes. Okay. With Dungeons and Dragons. Gotcha. Okay. Um, 
my honorable mention is going to be Immortal Hulk. Surprise book. Also really good. Surprise book of the year. I've never been a huge Hulk fan at all, but holy no, shit. No, Hulk's boring. Immortal Hulk is good. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, two Marvel books for me, I'm not going to lie. So, uh, surprising. Nothing on DC's end, unfortunately. Well, you know, Bendis went over there and fucking ruined everything. You know, uh, oh, Action 1000 was this year, too. It's been a big yeah, year for cares? comics. Action so. 1000 was terrible. Uh, it, no, you know what? What Jurgens did and what Tomasi did was great. It's 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 what Bendis took over. Like, the whole fire yeah. fucking... Like, what? Yeah. Who cares? Bendis is terrible. I love Bendis. And the I'm way that he write. writes no. Batman is awful. Listen, Bendis is the creator of your number one movie of the year. I'm just huh? saying. All right. When Batman when Batman shows up in action, it's been terrible. Like when Batman showed up to warn him about the fires, that like that whole thing was was garbage. Um, what book are you looking forward to? Uh, and, and I know they. What have book a, was they, I they looking forward to? That was a big disappointment. That was on my list. Oh really? I didn't even do that. But go ahead, tell yeah, it. Green go. Lantern. Ooh, good call. Because I was super excited about Grant Morrison. Good call. And I was excited about Grant Morrison on Green Lantern. I was glad that they were getting rid of that stupid oh. duo and bringing like Hal Jordan, and it was just awful. Yeah. I, I got a better one for you, though. Which one? Justice League by Scott Snyder. That got better, though. Really? With I'm, the Legion of Doom. Uh, I'm, I'm, then I better catch up. I'm like five issues behind, not going to lie. But when, 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 what's his name? When the Batman Who Laughs comes in, it was pretty cool. But listen, when, when the, the, the... Also a fail. What? The Batman Who Laughs. That book? That was terrible. Really was, yeah. wasn't it? That was really bad. You know what else isn't that great? Damned. I didn't read book two yet because book one I was like eh. the art is fantastic though I mean, the art's great yeah the art carries yeah. that book yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much it right I mean there was a lot of disappointing books man like Ben oh, well, DC the, the, was the biggest disappointment right because they thought they were mm. they should have gotten Donny Cates I'm I'm I, I, I I'm a I'm a fan of Bendis Bendis ooh how about Tom King's Batman I'm I'm a fan I, I like fucking it fucking ate it no I like it ate it I like it I like the it. whole wedding thing that was good look I, I didn't care that they didn't Tom get King married. wrote Vision. I didn't care that they didn't. Vision was fucking unbelievable. Okay. He writes Mr. All Miracle, right. probably one of the highest rated books this series this mm. year, right? Yeah, yeah. And then he goes and does the Batman Catwoman wedding. All right. Well, anyway. Any. Fantastic Four disappointed me this Ooh, year. Oh, yeah. Big disappointment there, yeah. That disappointed me. Yeah. Um, Captain America's been really good. Captain America's been good. Yeah, it go has, figure, yeah. right? Tennessee Coates. Yeah. Wants to kill all rescue. How about, first how about Black Panther in space? Uh, I was actually <laughs> really excited for that, and it yeah. let me down. Yeah. Uh, lots of things happening in comics. So I know they don't got a lot of stuff ta that they've announced yet for 2019 because, of course, they don't want to let, let everything out of the bay. But, yes, Detective 1000 does happen this year. March 19th is the release date. They're doing 10 covers again for that. Uh, and it's going to be crazy. Uh, Peter J. Tomasi is the main writer on the book. Uh, so definitely look forward to that because, you know, he's got the creds behind him. Uh, he is writer on Super Sons. Let's see. You I'm know, looking forward uh, <laughs> to Guardians of the Galaxy this year. Um, Kate's old, old Man it. Quill. Old Man Quill, I'm excited about. Yep. Yep. Um, believe it or not, even though it isn't, it isn't Donny Cates. Um, Cosmic Ghost Rider kills a Marvel universe. Yeah. I'm looking forward to oh, that. We're getting ready to die, my friend. Huh? You're getting ready to die. Don't put this shit on me. I'm just saying. Well, fucking you die, motherfucker. <laughs> I know because the battery is low, guys. But you know what? We said all we had to do about 2018. Anyways, 2018 is over. We're looking forward to 2019. Thank you to everyone that has come out to what our stores. What movie are you looking forward to? We didn't do that. We did do that actually. Huh? Yes, I said I said Star Wars, and you said you said some other shit. We didn't do video games. Oh, well, you didn't even mention video games. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption came out this year. That wasn't even on the list. Red Dead Redemption too. I I'm throwing you a curveball. I haven't played anything. Yeah, you did. What did I play? You played South Park on your phone. I love it. Phone destroyer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's 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 like magic for South Park. Right. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Anyways, guys, uh, check out our three stores uh, right here in Miami on 107 and 8th Street. Another one in Pines on Pines Boulevard, off of Pines Boulevard. And then our newest location in Coral Gables off Lejeune Road in US 1. And uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics, or just search at Corker Comics on all the social media outlets. Thank you, everyone, for a great 2018. We're looking forward to 2019. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to reach us. For Tom Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corker. I'm one. Later.